we're going to wrap things up here on uh, the topic of NetFlow. And uh, so this is our last video, and uh, we're going to discuss the basics of NetFlow monitoring. So we've done syslog monitoring, we've done SNMP, so we're now receiving information from the device about critical things that are happening. We're pulling for, you know, health statistics and environmental statistics. Uh, but what about the flow of traffic through a switch or, or a router or something like that? Uh, if you're doing SNMP, you're going to get, you know, the utilization of a port, uh, and it'll say, you know, it's being used 80%, and this is the, you know, the current throughput that's happening. But it's not really going to tell you things like the source and destination and the port, uh, byte counts, things like that. It's just going to give you a basic total. So NetFlow solves that problem. It allows you to uh, retrieve uh, that kind of data that you'd expect uh, from a more verbose report. So if you want to know, you know, uh, on a single port, you know, what what are the most common destinations and sources, you know, or what's the most common port and used or something that's being used or something like that, NetFlow will do that for you. So NetFlow is a uh, standard uh, a standard out there that's been standardized many times, unfortunately. So uh, they're up to version 9, which is a fancy template-based system. You're probably going to see version 5 the most, so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, version iOS version 15.1 introduced a whole bunch of additional NetFlow commands, uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, and the only other thing I'd mention is NetFlow is unidirectional. So when clients send traffic through a router, it's going to go out one way and come back another, you know? So, uh, and when we were applying access lists, you could do so on the inbound or outbound of a port. Same idea here. So we can, uh, when we set up NetFlow to monitor, we're going to monitor either ingress or egress of a port. Um, and you might not want to do both, you know, maybe egress on the port that goes out to your gateway, you know, is, is fine. Maybe that's all you need. It's really up to you. So uh, that's what we're going to do here. So what we'll do is we're just, just going to drop a router in, and I'll just throw a switch in there too so we make a real, a real network. And I'll just connect this up. Good enough. And start it up. All right, so that's going to boot. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just go into the one interface and uh, we'll set up NetFlow and pretend to send it to a server. So whatever collective server that's doing NetFlow data. So it's almost up. All right, I'm going to go into show IP, I believe, what, what was that, fast E0, okay. Going to go into config mode, and uh, we're going to go into that fast ETH. So what we need to do is basically just say IP flow, and in what direction. So I want to know... I'm going to pretend FastEth0 is the port that goes out to the internet. So that's my gateway, my last port basically, the, the gateway port. Uh, so IP flow uh, egress. Well, we'll do ingress. So what's coming from the inside network into FA00 um, on its way outbound to the world. So show me the ingress info. Uh, that's basically it for the port. Uh, and then we just have to tell it where to send it to. So what server? So we're going to exit out of that, go back to global config, and then we can say all of my flows, flow export, is going to go to a following destination, and then I'm going to give it an IP. So I'm going to pretend 1.2 is my uh, retrieval server that's collecting, and then I have to define a port. Uh, there's a number of ports that are commonly in use, uh, 99, 2055, 9996, they're very common. So uh, we could say it's running, it's really whatever the server is running. So 2055, and what version am I going to send out? So flow export version, and then you can choose 1, 5, or 9. Uh, we'll do 5 because that's the most common. And you're done. <laughs> that's, that's it. 
It's all there is to it. Um, you can do that on any, any port you want, ingress, egress, etc. You know, set up your destination to send it to, and then it's really it's on all. It's all at that point. It's all on the server side that's collecting the data. You know, it's going to gather it and summarize it and, and analyze it and all that stuff. That's you know outside of our scope. So uh, what you can do is a uh, show IP cache flow, which will show you uh, you know the cache data that's sent and received. Uh, you can do uh, IP show IP flow interface, which will tell you what interfaces are set up. Which really is just kind of like a show run command that they they cut up. And uh, you can do show IP flow export. So where's it being sent? You know what are statistical information about how much stuff is being sent there, what ports in use, etc. Uh, and you could really get most of this stuff just from doing a show run. You know, we'll know our destination and our port. We'll know what uh, interface is being used. You know, you can just do that from show run, and uh, that'll give you 80% of that. And that's really it for NetFlow. We don't really go into it in super detail, um, but it's certainly a useful thing to learn about, especially if you go deep into networking. So, uh, pretty much that's it for CCNA. I hope you enjoyed it, and. Uh, I tried to keep things short and simple for you. Uh, there's plenty of fantastic resources out there that uh, will make your life easy. There's great lab resources for free out there. and uh, Some of those things I mentioned in that one video, uh, you can go online and read up on Wikipedia pages, Cisco documentation pages, all sorts of things if you want to learn you know, the real nitty-gritty details. Uh, I tried to keep it as easy to digest as possible, so I hope I did that for you. And uh, look forward to more videos from me for other topics.